Miranda Devine joins us this morning. Miranda, I mean, is this a sign to Bill Maher's place uh, to point that uh, Donald Trump is actually doing pretty well? Well, Donald Trump is the one who always talks about infrastructure and things falling apart and how he's the builder who mm. will fix it. You never hear Joe Biden talk about cleaning up the streets. He's always sort of filling our, our heads with nonsense about how, you know, America's on, on the up and everything's perfect and peachy clean. Um, you know, Gavin Newsom was asked about how they managed to clean up the streets so quickly and, you know, just for Xi, wasn't that a bad look? And he just admitted mm. it. Yep, yeah, we cleaned it up for this Chinese dictator. Yes, we did. That's true. And when Joe Biden went to San Francisco for the APEC meeting, he had this big uh, audience of um, donors and the richest people in the state. And he joked about the streets being sparkling clean and the audience laughed with him. So to them, people who live in a bubble, it's a joke that there are fentanyl addicts like zombies on the street and there's human excrement on the street and it's unpleasant mm. for the average person to walk around. Um, New York's getting like that as well. A lot of Democrat cities are really uh -huh. uh, just collapsing. They are indeed. Uh, next one for you. NBC political correspondent Steve Kornacki sounding the alarm after a new NBC poll showed that Donald Trump is beating President Biden for the first time in history. So, Miranda, you say if Democrats stick with Biden, they don't believe the polls, which leads to another question. Do you think Democrats are actually planning something else behind the scenes? Well, it's certainly there are signs that they are. The other day, uh, President Biden let slip something about Gavin Newsom. He was praising him, but he said, well, he could do my job, the job I'm going for now. Not the job I'm in, the job I'm you know, aiming towards. <laughs> um, and so that sort of reflects sometimes he will blurt out something that he shouldn't, that he's heard in a meeting. So maybe they've had conversations about it. Um, certainly Ron DeSantis thinks that Gavin Newsom uh, could be uh, an opponent because he's chosen to debate him at the next week, actually. Um, and Look, there's also signs from Gavin Newsom himself. We saw him a year or so ago at the White House while Joe Biden was overseas, uh, kind of measuring up the drapes. Uh, and, and then he just visited <laughs> President Xi as if he himself were a statesman, as if he himself were the president already. He's very cocky. And so I'm sure mm. he's just signalling to everybody that, yes, I'm ready to step into the breach if at some point, uh, you know, Joe Biden can't continue on or his approval is so terrible. Um, at the moment, he's still within, um, you know, I mean, he's got terrible approval ratings that have been rock bottom for, mm. for you know, a couple of years. But, uh, well, at least ever since yeah. the Afghanistan withdrawal that he botched. Yeah. Well, it'd be interesting to see how Newsom will run on his record as so many people have you know, escaped <laughs> the state of California. And to your point, what was going on in San Francisco, it would be interesting to see if he does do that. But anyway, we're out of time. Miranda Devine, great stuff as always. Thanks for joining us.